For promo use only, not intended for mature phonies It's for the world, all my real ones and true homies The following content I present may contain Real topics for your brain, not intended for your lane The Chronicles, taking you to elevated heights Lights, camera, action, it's factual Factuation on facts, water and land While we travel the globe, the goal to touch every soul Let's go! I was raised Catholic And though I believe in God, you know, I'm, I'm a very spiritual person You know, um, I was baptized And um, I did my first communion but you know, as I grew older and experienced many hardships on my own, and I witnessed a lot of craziness firsthand, you know, I, I often find myself, I'm, I, I'm reluctant to say this, I, I, I often find myself losing faith in God. Um, did you ever, throughout this journey, find yourself losing faith in God as well? No, nah, I never, I've never lost faith in God just because I had too many, uh, near death experiences mm. to come out of it. There was times that I was in tight spots with a gun pointed at me, a gun fired at me multiple times on different occasions and the bullet never touched me. There was times I was racing in cars going a hundred miles an hour with, 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 with five or six bottles of Moet in my brain and I would and I wouldn't get into the accident, man. I would come out of it. You know, I would I, get I heard you was I heard you was pulling up in Porsches and Beamers and, and motorcycles yeah, yeah. and shit like that. Yeah, we was racing <laughs> up the West Side Highway, 100 miles an hour, drunk out of our mind, uh, uh, riding motorcycles, running from police, punching police in the face. We were doing some crazy stuff, man. And for me to come out of it unscathed, it had to be God's hand on me. So I never was like. I never could doubt that right there. You know, there was times where I would get pulled over with a, where there was one time specific that I got pulled over right here between 188 and 189 in Amsterdam, like around 10 o'clock at night, we had a double barrel shotgun and a 380 uh, loaded inside a Honda Civic and a no papers, no license. Shit. And we, and we, and the lights is right behind us and me and my cousin, uh, uh, I stopped the car because he's telling me to stop. I'm, I want to go all the way down to the baseball field, jump out and go in the woods, but my cousin starts screaming at me for me to stop. You talk so about the bend. You wanted to go behind the bend. I wanted to go by the bend and yeah. run into the baseball field and go down the woods. But yeah. my cousin told me to stop, stop, stop. So I ended up stopping right in front of the park and I open the door and I get out the car and he get out the car. So the police was like, yo, why are you going so fast? And he started grabbing my arm. And I started telling my cousin um, to run in Spanish. I was telling him, run, go it, go it, go it. And he froze, right? So I, I told him one more time, and the police started telling me, speak in English. When the police opened his mouth, I hooked off on the police. He let me go. I ran into the park, and they jumped on my cousin. So I ended up getting away that night, but he ended up getting caught with the gun and going to trial and the gun had a body on it. So, <laughs> so, shit. so it was too many, it was too many times, man, that some stuff like that happened to me, man. You know, another time I, I went, I went, I was in my house on a, on a Saturday night and some sticker boys came knocking on my door, asking for Blondie. And, um, and you know, I knew they knew who I was cause they said Blondie. So, I figured somebody sent them to get served and I opened the door, man. They they bum rushed me with guns in their hands and I started fighting with them. I thought it was a hit. And I was like, yo, don't kill me, don't kill me. And I started swinging on them and one of them, uh, the gun went off. And um, after that, I went for the doorknob and got out the house and left them inside the house, you know? And it was four of them. And I got away from that one right there. It was 250 grams on the table that they ain't even touched. They had to leave once I left. They wanted to kill you, brother. I mean, you know, it, it wasn't, I don't think they wanted to kill me just because I have found out later on that it was somebody that was running with one of my friends from the block that he brought him there so I could serve him. And he was there with him and he saw everything that was going on in my house. So he came back weeks later with the sticker boys. Holy shit. And look, and after I knew who it was, I had to make the choice. I had, to, I had to make the choice whether to lay him down or to keep it moving. And when they said, what you want to do? 
I said, I'm going to keep it moving because I'm not going to lay nobody down. Then I'm going to have to disappear. And I don't want that blood on my hands over money. You know, and it was a huge disrespect, but I, I kept it moving. That was my mentality. I thought, you know, I bet even in the street on a, on a, on a self-defense situation, it could go down. But if I had to pick and choose, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that right there. You wasn't, you wasn't about letting your ego in the way. Nah, 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 and nah, nah. Like that. Shit. The, the, the prayer really works. You can say that prayer really works for, for you, brother. Of course, man. It worked it work for anybody when you, when you do it with a sincere heart. And, uh, and God will reveal himself to you because I pray, right? When I was in jail, I made a promise to myself on a New Year's Eve of 1999. And I said, every day before I go to bed, I'm going to pray for at least a minute or two and just give God thanks. And, um, and I started doing that little by little. And as time went on in that year... I went from praying at night before I went to bed to actually going inside the church, to actually praising, to actually listen to the message, to actually going full-fledged, full-fledged, because then I got understanding at that point.